Nichols and hockey legend Mike Padano. I am so lucky to be sitting with you guys today. <laughs> wow. Are we warm enough? Are we doing okay? Well, we're getting warmer. Yes. <laughs> we are getting warmer. Yes, we got the fire pit. We do. We this do helps. Yep. I do want to start with you, Craig, just to, because you've been a part of Hockey Day really now for the last couple of years. How impressed are you with the growth of Hockey Day? It's it, it amazes me from the first time that I went to a hockey day in Minnesota 10, 11 years mm -hmm. ago until where it is today. It just every every year it gets bigger and better and the community involvement is is uh, it, it really what makes it work. Yeah. Everybody's out here. Uh, it is a fun day. Everybody recognizes that, you know, outdoor hockey is where it's at. So I love it. It's the sport at its finest, how it should be played. And I know that Mike now working with the Wild, really nice for you guys. And it's your first hockey day, Mike. So your impression of just the scene here in Minneapolis? Um, well, it doesn't surprise you. I think hockey is uh, in a, re a religion here in Minnesota. Every kid that you, that you meet plays and uh Everybody that's older, my age, has grown up playing hockey at some point in their career or their life. So it's uh, it's great to see and fun to be a part of. Uh, you know, it just shows you, you know, how popular the sport is in the state. So it really is. Uh, when they say the state of hockey, you know, it's it's a serious title. It is. It definitely is. And Craig, how important has it been for the Wild to partner with Hockey Day throughout these last couple of years to really just connect to the sport on every level? Yeah. Uh, you know, for us, we... We, we live and we, we, we breathe the whole thought of this is, this is the state of hockey. And that's, that's kind of what we, we feel it. You know, mm -hmm. our, it's our culture. So for us to be part of this and to be a big part of it with, with Fox North, I think, is something that we're so proud of. We work hard at it. We dedicate it. You know, all of our employees who are out here, they're mm -hmm. volunteering for this. Yeah. And they all want to be part of it. So it's... You know, for us, this is not work. This is fun, and it makes us feel like we're in the right spot. Mm -hmm. This is our place, and, you know, we're outside where it all started 120 years ago. So, um, you know, the Minnesota Wild are really proud to be part of this. So true. It does not feel like work being a part of this. Just a <laughs> no. big celebration. And it, there was a celebration last night with the alumni game. Mike, you're back on the ice. Craig, you're back on the ice as well. With <laughs> that puck drop, what was the experience like for you guys just to play with so many notable alum and just playing together? How was it? Yeah, it was, well, I didn't play it, but I dropped the well. puck. But it was so much fun to be <laughs> out there to see with all the NHL players. Uh, Mike, obviously you were playing it. And I, I have to tell you, I was watching you a little bit. You <laughs> haven't <laughs> lost much. I think you could still play. Uh, well, I Mike, hoping. I noticed your skates were a, a bit old. They are. You haven't really updated. <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> How was it for you being out there? Um, it was fun. And, uh, yeah, once you have a pair of skates that you love, you never get rid of them. So once those things break down, I may never play in an alumni game again. So, um, But it's always good to see the guys you you know you played uh, a lot of years against and played with so it's you just pick up where you left off it's just kind of like that that hockey language you get in the locker room everybody just has great stories it's a lot of fun and you get on the ice and everybody starts getting competitive and think they're still 33 again you know so you wake up the next morning know that uh, reality hits you hard and you are uh you know, up in your upper 40s again. Are you feeling it a little bit today? Oh, yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. I cannot believe that Mike Bonanno just said he's feeling it after playing. No, I appreciate it. I do want to ask you guys about the Winter Classic and how special that's going to be in a year for the Wild to be a part of it. What's the excitement? This is reminding me, obviously, of what the Winter Classic is going to be mm -hmm. like. We've worked hard to get it. This community deserves it. The fans have been waiting for it. So have all of our employees. Uh, this is a big deal, and mm -hmm. we're going to have fun on, on January 1st of 2021. Uh, we don't know who our opponent is yet, but we know it's going to be a team that'll be uh, fun to play against, and we'll want to play here. But um, as far as we're concerned, January 1st of 2021 is going to be our day. We're going to profile what hockey is all about. It started here in the ponds, on the ponds of Minnesota. So wow. it should be coming back. Oh, it's exciting to think about. And Mike, I have to ask you as well, because around here, you're also known for marrying into a hockey family, the Michelettis. <laughs> we know them from Hibbing and obviously Joe, your father-in-law. And I can only imagine what holidays are like around some <laughs> gopher legends, but we thought we would show you for ourselves. <laughs> Number three, Joe Micheletti, was the perfect compliment on defense to O'Shea. Micheletti was less conservative, 
would gamble on occasion, and loved to rush the puck. There was little doubt that Don Micheletti loved the hit, but he was determined to become a more complete player. His persistence paid off in 36 goals and 36 assists, second only to Steve Kristoff. One of the most interesting chapters of this year's story was the development of Pat Micheletti. In my freshman year, I had a reputation as an overly aggressive hockey player. My sophomore year, I feel as if I've matured. I learned that you can't score from the penalty box. I cut my penalty time in half and doubled my point production. I learned a great deal. Oh, I love it. Mike, what do you That's think? Great. Well, that family is very competitive. And it's, and, and to this day, they still are. If they're on the golf course or doing something, uh, they're all very competitive. And uh, it's kind of uh, it's it's kind of been passed on to Allison. She's uh, very competitive as well. A great golfer, tennis player, uh, basketball, mm -hmm. soccer player. So, um, yeah, I mean, Joe's been a good friend of mine since I was 18. He yeah. did my games when I first started in Minnesota with the North Stars. So we've known each other very, for a very long time. Pat was a little bit involved with the North Stars when he was playing. Sure. You know, so some um, a lot of history there. Great family, and uh, you know, I I I uh, I married into a lucky, uh, been a lucky guy. Married in that type of family, it's been great. That's so special, Mike. Thank you guys, Craig. Thank you for being Jenny, here. Thank you. Very Good luck nice. tonight to the Wild. Yeah, we'll thank be you. Watching thank all you so day much. event of Hockey Day, and really wishing you guys the best of luck. Enjoy hockey.